My name is Joe Collins. I'm a golf expert with Curated, and today we're reviewing the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max driver. And just so you know, I'm not sponsored, so these are my complete unbiased opinions from my own experiences. All in all, I love this club. I love the way it looks, the way that it feels while you're swinging it, and really the results that you'll see off the tee box. You can't ask for much more out of your driver. Biggest thing that you get with a SIM2 Max driver is forgiveness. Sure, you will get a little bit added distance, a little bit less spin, get your ball going further. Bigger sweet spot off the face, which will be a little bit more forgiving on miss hits, as well as a little bit heavier weight in the back than you'll see on like the regular SIM2 to really even out and balance out the face. When it comes to distance, I saw an instant increase as to what I'm usually hitting. Uh, the biggest reason for that is TaylorMade Speed Pocket. Their Speed's Pocket actually is what creates the bigger sweet spot on the face, which also helps protect the ball speed and in line with more forgiveness. You'll get a low to mid spin rate on this. To compare it to the TaylorMade Sim 2 driver, you'll get about 200 to 300 more RPMs with the Sim 2 Max than you would see with the standard Sim 2. One of the biggest things that you'll see with the Sim 2 Max driver is that it does have a slightly larger face. Uh, again, compared to the Sim 2 regular driver, it's about 10% bigger, but really that larger face just adds a little bit more control and forgiveness to some of those potential misfits. I could really feel the way that they distributed the weight evenly across the actual head of the club because while you're bringing it down, you don't feel any part of the club lagging behind or that the face is coming through too fast on your downswing. It really feels like everything is right where it needs to be at that particular point in your swing until the club actually meets the ball. I love the look of this club. From the blue and white outline that you see on the face, right, to the blue and a little bit of green highlights that you get on the very bottom, as well as the carbon fiber body on the top and the bottom of the club. It's a little bit more of a matte carbon fiber compared to some more glossy finishes, which again, just keeps the club head really compact and clean looking uh, at a dress with the ball. Immediately, I noticed that this is much more solid sounding when the ball leaves the face compared to some other drivers that you get that ping or that hollow hit sound. Now, I will say that you'll, you'll hear a little bit more hollow, a little bit more echo the further you're off the center of the face. But all in all, I mean, a pure strike, of, especially on the Sim 2 Max driver, is going to sound much more dense and like a solidly contacted ball. Although it is a, a very good driver, it is not perfect. When it comes to adjustability, one thing that it is lacking, a feature that's become much more prominent now, is, is a weight track, right? The ability to spread the weight across between the toe and the heel of your club. Although this is missing on the Sim 2 line in general, you're not totally left without adjustability. It does still come with a removable weight on the tail of the club, uh, that on the Sim 2 Max comes standard as 24 grams, but you can adjust that as you see fit. I would recommend the Sim 2 Max driver for your mid to high handicappers. Those who, you get solid distance off the tee, and more often than not, you're making good contact. But every so often we do have a miss hit here and there. I really think that the Max is a little bit better because of that, that higher club face and added forgiveness is going to make those unfortunate mishits much less costly. I would not recommend the Sim 2 Max for our scratch golfers, for our very low handicap golfers. You're probably looking for something with a little bit lower spin rate. You're probably looking for, for the Sim 2. Now, if you'd like to chat with me a little bit about which club might be best for your needs, feel free to visit my profile at Curated or shoot me a text at 628-201-7041. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit subscribe to catch out more videos from Curated.